Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My bedhead and I welcome you to a new week. I just wrapped up the last episode because I'd forgotten to do an outro for it, so I'll post that up here because if you're watching this episode, very likely that one came out already. It's Monday morning. It's apparently Christopher Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. I say apparently because nobody I know in real life gets today off anymore. Schools are open, we're having therapy, etc. My husband and my dad don't work today, but they're in the financial industry and those are the only rich white people hanging on to Christopher Columbus Day. I find that in the finance industry, they'll take literally any and every opportunity to not work. Anyway, uh, and my mom's retired, so she doesn't work today either, but we do. So everybody's trying to make all these plans for today and treating it like it's a three day weekend. And unfortunately for us, I honestly didn't even realize that it was a holiday until my husband told me, oh, and by the way, I don't work on Monday. And I had to like think about it and go, oh, right that. So uh, we do have therapy today. It's just one therapy so hopefully kiddo will be okay stealing away for an hour. It's gonna be painful <laughs> because daddy's here and so we're all hanging out. Obviously it's still the weekend but now suddenly he has to get dressed and go sit down at the work table for an hour. So luckily it's only the one like I said and it's his favorite so Maybe it won't be as painful as I anticipate. I am catching up on last night's Sister Wives. This has become my little routine because it used to be that the Discovery Plus app, and I think they also play it on HBO Max, um, they used to drop it midnight Sunday morning. So basically Saturday night. And I would watch it at some point on Sunday, but since they don't actually air it on television until 10 p.m. Eastern, then you can't watch it online now until 10 p.m. Eastern. They started doing that this year. And 10 p.m. Eastern, we're trying to get things situated for bedtime. So it's become my routine to watch it on Monday mornings during breakfast, but I woke up a little late and I haven't wanted to cook. Kiddo's still asleep, so I haven't needed to cook. Um, I probably should get to it though, because like I said, we do have a therapy today, so I don't wanna like fall behind. But I'm just being lazy on the couch and watching Sister Wives basically and I thought I really should vlog. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, we just have the one thing like I said and hopefully it will go as painlessly as possible. And we'll see what else we get into today. I have to edit the last episode, I know that for sure. But otherwise, besides like laundry and stuff, I don't think there's anything particularly like daunting to do today. There's a few things that I have to do this week, but I'm trying to like give myself a little bit of grace and not necessarily put them off, but kind of put them off to the extent where, how do I say it? Like, I don't want to put it off to the point where it becomes stressful <laughs> to pick it back up and do it, but I also don't feel like doing those things now. So um, whatever, I'll get to them when I get to them. <sighs> Anyways, happy Monday. Hey friends, it's Tuesday afternoon. We finished our therapies for the day. It's just been a very busy day and I haven't gotten a chance to pick up the camera until now. I wasn't gonna speak on this on my vlog, but I've touched on it on Instagram and Twitter and everywhere else, so I might as well. Um, prepare for a hot take. I know that this is not a popular thing to say, but it's how I feel and I'm tired of getting infuriated every time I turn on the news or open up my social media because all of y'all have some really funky takes, not gonna lie. This whole situation in the Middle East, I don't have a solution. Nobody does. If, there, if anybody had a solution, it'd have been solved by now, right? Don't you think after all this time? But here's the thing. What the Hamas did is obviously not good, right? Violence is never good, especially against innocent children. Never a good thing. However, all of you people talking about support Israel um, and and how they have to answer for this, uh, Hamas has to answer for this and all that, you have to consider, and you're not, 
considering this. You're only listening to the propaganda that they're spewing from the news. But consider that Israel has occupied Palestine for decades. Israel regularly, daily, takes children and women from Palestinian towns and villages, incarcerates them, and does untold number of disgusting, horrifying things to these children in the name of ethnic cleansing and genocide, okay? Israel does this to Palestinian people on the daily. They've gone as far as to, again, regularly, this is not like a rare thing or something that happened once, they go into towns where people are already on the brink of starvation and they pour cement into the town's water supply so that these same women and children die of dehydration in the worst possible slowest way. Again, because they feel like they have the right to do so for the sake of ethnic cleansing. They are committing straight up genocide. You know who is backing them financially to do this? The United States of America. For decades, the United States of America has been funding Israel's takeover of the Palestinians for their own interests in oil. If you don't believe me, there's footage circulating right now on social media of President Joe Biden, back when he was just a senator from Delaware, talking about how if Israel did not exist, they'd have to create an Israel. Because having Israel in the position that it is, is so amazing and so important and so necessary to protect America's interests in the Middle East. And that backing Israel and their invasion of Palestine is the best $3 billion at the time. This was we're talking 80s or 90s money. Think about how much more money we've thrown at them since then. The best $3 billion investment America can make because they need Israel pushing so that they could have their interests, their being America, United States of American government, interests protected in the Middle East. Look at the Middle East. I think it's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made. None. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. So every time you hear these politicians or even on the news or anybody say, oh, because we support Israel, support Israel. Yeah, they support Israel because they want the oil, not because Israel is in any sort of moral position where they should be supported. Not to mention, <laughs> speaking of moral, uh, there's this whole little thing called the Bible. <laughs> if you look in Revelations, um, they talk about how once Israel takes the land, this is somebody's interpretation of this, mind you, but once Israel rightfully takes their land, the end of days will come. And all of these rich white government people in America, Lord knows why. <laughs> what book they're reading, but they're under the impression that they're such good and holy people that when the rapture comes, they will be the first to go up to heaven. So they want to do everything they can in their power and with their money to make sure that Israel takes this land in the bloodiest way possible because they believe that that's what's going to cause Christ's second coming. So <laughs> either the Americas are backing Israel because of some cuckoo stuff that they gleaned from a book that's not relevant these days in any sense, or they're doing it because they have an interest in protecting their oil in the Middle East. But I'll tell you what they're not doing it for. They're not doing it because it's the right thing to do. Israel has bullied and bullied and bullied and bullied the Palestinians, and eventually you know what happens? The one that is bullied is going to turn around and hit back. And they're not putting any attention on all the disgusting, horrible things Israel does on a daily, but they are talking about this one thing, and now everybody that knows nothing about the situation is quick to get up and, oh, I have an opinion. I am just a really strong one, too. Just listen to what I have to say. Those Palestinians... You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what's been going on. You have no idea what's led up to this. Shut up. <laughs> if you want to be loud, be loud, but that doesn't mean that you're right. Shut up. If you don't know what you're talking about, shut up. If you want to learn more, please do. And then feel free to form an opinion. But if you don't know 
what happened or why or how or what led up to it, then shut up and stop with your loud ass wrong ass opinions because you don't understand what's actually happening here. You have this much information of this much of a scenario, of this much of a situation, and you're choosing to die on this hill. You look ignorant. Shut up. Thank you. That's my hot take for the day. Um, I'm going to stop talking now. <sighs> I'm going to get back to editing. I need my blood pressure to come back down. But yeah, that's been on my mind for the last few days. And it really sucks that every time I open my phone or turn on my television, I'm bombarded with more and more ignorance. But yeah, guys, the moral of the story is you probably, as strong as your opinion is, it's probably based on absolutely nothing. And I implore you to either learn what's really going on and be open to potentially changing your opinion or if you refuse to do so then just shut up thanks for coming to my ted talk hey friends it's wednesday afternoon um it's my birthday and first off got my period this morning right on time I told my husband like a month ago when I did my whole like calculating, oh man, it looks like I'm going to get my period on my birthday. And he was like, wow, I hope not. That would suck because I famously have extremely violent, aggressively painful periods. And so having to deal with that on a day that should be like a nice, chill, relaxing day for me uh, would suck. But good news is my body super efficient and sure enough i got my period this morning so i am in fact feeling pretty crap um also while i was setting up the camera so that i could vlog right now um i set it up i walked over to open the window because it was super dark in here it's still super dark in here because it's really gloomy out today and when i walked back apropos of absolutely nothing because of course i made sure the camera was perfectly steady before i walked away etc i hear and it's that my beautiful, expensive, not brand new, but pretty new camera had rolled off the shelf and landed directly on the floor, lens and all. Uh, luckily, if you're watching this, then the camera's just fine. If you're not watching this, then it's a moot point because I don't have a camera, so <laughs> we're not going to be vlogging for a minute. But um, that's how my day's going so far. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, my brother got me a Lush gift card for my birthday. And so I immediately went and got myself the first Lush I've bought in almost two entire years, maybe longer, because they had a couple of shower gels that I was really looking forward to that were limited edition. So it's like a now or never type of thing. And I also got myself some more shampoo. And there was some sort of an error <laughs> where... I put in the gift card information and then the page refreshed or something and then when I went back in to actually put the order through it was like oh you already used this gift card which was obviously not true but then I had to spend 20-30 minutes on the online chat situation to make my gift card usable again. It was fine it took ages but it was a very like straightforward process at no point where they like bitchy or trying to like convince me otherwise that like you must have used the card or anything like that so um but the point is that so far today um i'm just hoping for ease and chill and relaxation and unfortunately it seems like there's been like little bits of obstacle with everything that i've tried to do um we only have one therapy today and it's an in-home therapy, so I actually don't have to have any hands-on, um, you know, participation in this therapy. So I figured, why cancel it, right? Let kiddo go ahead and have his day as usual. There's no reason to throw off his routine for no, you know, for a silly thing like my birthday. Otherwise, it's just a regular Wednesday. I'm editing. I'm getting the house tidied and ready for the therapist later. Uh... Later on in the day, my parents are coming over and my sister's coming over with the kiddos to cut a cake. I actually, in the last episode, which if I haven't posted it yet, I'll post it up here. I bought myself <laughs> a safe cake mix and frosting because my dad really wanted to make me a birthday cake and I really wanted to make sure that I would be able to safely eat it. So they're going to be making the cake and bringing it over later. I made sure to let them know 
to come later later because they were all planning to show up like midday and kiddo was not going to appreciate the you know oh wow it's a party and now suddenly my therapist is here and i have to leave the situation and go do work for an hour while y'all are out here hanging out like that sucks for anybody so i made sure that everybody was aware of the therapy situation so that they come after the fact but yeah it's gonna be just a low-key chill day pretty much just any other wednesday except now i have one more year tacked on to my age and I'll see what all I'm able to show you guys later while still respecting the privacy of my family. But that's what's going on for right now. So happy Wednesday and happy birthday to me, I guess. Hey guys, oh my gosh, it's Thursday morning. Totally forgot to do an outro last night. Um, I had a lovely birthday. It was really, really nice. Everybody came over. We uh, cut a cake. We had dinner. Um, the kids were crazy. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. Um, the twins have decided that they're mimes now, which is a great childhood phase that I didn't realize was a thing, but somehow makes more sense the more I think about it. And um, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> They're insane. I love them. Um, and yeah, we just kind of had a low-key night once everybody went home, hung out, watched some Star Trek, and went to sleep. So it was exactly what I wanted. Nice and chill, but still acknowledged, you know? And um, the cake was amazing, by the way. My dad made like a raspberry sauce for it because he has to zhuzh it up somehow. He can't just make a mix and it was amazing so it was a very good birthday and today is going to be a doozy <laughs> but i'll talk more on that in the next episode which i'm going to start as soon as i wrap this one up so let me know how your week went and uh yeah i want to thank you so much for being here and watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did i hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up do I look as sleepy as I feel? Because I feel like I look as sleepy as I feel. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell because I post at least three, oh my goodness, at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.